This is Bo back in the lounge. We get a chance to talk to Greg Youngblood out of Waldorf College. How you doing, sir? I'm doing great. Thanks for having me, Bo. Coach, thanks for taking the time out of your schedule. We know how busy it is. You've got two-a-days and freshmen. Yes, absolutely. We're getting them checked in today, and uh, and it's an exciting time, but we're, uh, we're ready to get going. Not that I, you know, endorse Hazeman or picking on freshmen, but I did enjoy the new faces showing up because they were always asking questions and we were always making sure we gave them the wrong every time, I think. <laughs> yeah. No, it's, uh, they're, they're a little lost the first day. Their eyes are a little big, and uh, it's important to try to help keep things simple for them and get them, get them uh, comfortable. And hopefully our older guys do a good job of, you know, direct the right way and kind of helping them out a little bit. And then once they're here a few days, it gets a lot easier. But uh, definitely always that transition for sure. Coach, you've done a good job for yourself in that program. You've got an excellent reputation among the league, the conference. Your name does come up in a lot of circles. How did you, uh, you know, what is your coaching style that has led you down this good path for yourself? Well, I don't know. I guess, you know, we're, we're actually, I mean, we're really building our program, and, and uh, we're, we're still we're not where we need to be yet, but we're really excited about kind of the building process and I you know I just uh you know I think here we're just focused on just getting better every day I think that's that's going to be our thing and trying to be the best we can be and, and not try to worry about things we can't control um if we do that and, and work hard and just try to get better we're gonna we're gonna get to where we want to be but uh it's just it's a process and we have to really focus on that so that's kind of what what our, uh, our mantra is right now and kind of what we're really focused on is our guys come back to campus well, Coach, if you look down the schedule you have, you are all over the map in the middle part of the United States. That's a lot for, for a student and for a school your size to be able to do. But you talk about the, the visibility factor of your program and the fact that you're going to be seen by a lot more eyes than just the local guys. Well, that's true. I think, uh, you know, we, we really like to get the local guys. We've gotten some of them. Um, you know, it's, it's, there's so many schools here in Iowa that uh, – it's real competitive, and there's not obviously the population, that, you know, such that uh, there's not as many options for colleges to have students. The so students have a lot of options, so we do have to go out of state and get guys, and and that's good in that sense because we do get get around and uh, get to get guys from all over the country. But uh, but definitely, we try to have to have a mix of guys. We don't want them all out of state. We don't want them all just in state. But we try to have a balanced mix as best we can. Coach, you've got some seniors that are probably helping out that have been around. They, we understand that a lot of the program students actually have to go home. They work, and then they come back for football. But you still have individuals that hang around the program off and on, going back home and coming back to the school. So who are those seniors that are stepping up and those juniors that are helping lead the squad now on the field? Well, you know, probably our top senior coming back is Nate Lidke. He was, a, he was an all-conference all, uh, linebacker. We were independent last year, but as far as independent – schools go he was first team all independent linebacker and uh, did a great job for us and so he's he's really our main guy coming back there but we have some some real good senior leadership uh receiver alex grunhold uh, offensive lineman kenny kutamel the guys that have been in the program worked real hard and they're really ready to see things you know see the results come from their hard work and and it's been a struggle in some ways but we've seen it in small ways see the process but now we really want to to reap the, the benefits of that hard work and uh, there's a lot of quality young men in our program that we're just excited to get them here and, and uh, you know there's a there's a group of about nine ten seniors that we, we're relying on all those guys to take a leadership role and and they've all done a great job worked real hard and, and have a great attitude and kind of represent the things we want to in our program you know coach we see this all the time on programs across the country from the d1s down to the nias a lot of students who have the capability and the talent to either play in Division Two or one AA or even one are opting out for smaller campuses size. They like to have the more hands-on approach. A lot of guys realize they're not going to go NFL or arena football, but they want an education and an enjoyment of college life. You're able to tap into that vein, and, and how much have you seen that vein come your way? Well, you know we're um, you know we're really excited to get guys like that because obviously the small college environment provides just that. The, the the individual attention in the classroom, you know, the, the small school setting where you don't get lost in the crowd. But at the same time, you get to play scholarship football at a very competitive level. And at all levels of college football, you know, you, you're, you're playing against guys that were the best guys in high school. And, you know, no question that as the level goes up, it gets very much more competitive. But you get to come to a place where you have an opportunity to play, to contribute, have a great career. Uh, obviously, if you're good enough, they're going to find you at, at all different levels. And, and so you're going to have those opportunities if you work hard at it, regardless where you go. But the nice thing here is you get to do it, you know, play early, and you get to get that great education that uh, that the individualized attention that you may not get somewhere else. So I think there's a, a lot of advantage to that, and so we try to sell our guys on that that uh, you know that ability to do that, and uh, 
you know, we're, we're getting more of them. Obviously, as we're building our program and continue to have more success, it's going to help you to get more of those guys. But there's no question, there's a lot of places to play that, uh, you know, if guys are, guys are interested in, 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 uh, in being a part of a program that represents the things they're looking for. You know, Coach, people talk about the fact is that sometimes smaller programs may not have big guys or quick guys. You've got a nice mix. Matter of fact, I'd have to say you're a pretty large squad from looking at the weight and size of your athletes, whether it's the offensive line, where I believe that every team is built by the offensive line, then the defensive line, then the quarterback and receivers fall into play. But right now it looks like you've got a nice size squad as far as size and weight. Well, it's, you're right. It's definitely the key in, in the game of football is, is in the trenches. you got to have those linemen and – and it's competitive because everybody's looking for those guys. And, uh, you know, that's where being young the last two years with some guys up front, they've, they've been good, good, talented guys, but being younger, just even physically, it takes some time to get those guys to, to be more mature and be able to play against the juniors and seniors. So we're getting to where we've got more juniors and seniors now, and they've had a few years in the weight room, had a few years to develop and grow into college football players. So that's where we're excited, uh, you know, to uh, you know to definitely take the next step, and, and it does. It happens in the trenches where you get, you don't get pushed around, and you can push people around and control the football. You know, those skill guys uh, make them look a lot better if you can have guys up front uh, protected for them and blocking for them. So, so we're excited about that. I, I know that um, you know we're still gonna have a few spots where you're gonna be young, but I think uh, overall we feel like we've definitely made a stride in the, in the line area, both offense and defense. And definitely the NAIA program is one of the best in the country. You know, characters are champions of characters is their motto. Programs like yours across the country are the ones that are building blocks in the communities. It's got to feel good on a side note uh, of being represented by such a quality organization. Well, I think that's what's neat about uh, at our level. You know, there isn't maybe the, pre- the, the pressure to win. You know, we, we obviously put that pressure on ourselves, but uh, – we're here to develop young men of, of character, and that's that's really first and foremost. So they get their education, and we feel like we can help them go on to be good husbands and fathers and good people. Uh, then we've been successful, and obviously, if you do those things, uh, that ties right into being a, a successful athlete and being successful on the field. So we feel like the, the winning will, will happen when you do those fundamentals and, and take care of it the right way. But but that's really our focus is making sure we're developing the whole athlete, and that's that's what's nice about being at this level because it's supported from the from the school administration through the NEIA that's part of what it's about and uh and that's and that's neat because that's really what I, I believe in coaching is all about coach thanks for taking the time with us today we told you we'd keep it quick oh, that's great I appreciate having you and uh thanks thanks very much just one second coach hey that was Waldorf College one of the best his name is Greg Youngblood we're going to follow his program and his athletes he is always doing an awesome job with his students Putting students first, athletes second. Coach, one moment. We are off the air. Thank you very much. You're welcome, Coach. One.